When I say it's an honor and a privilege to have down here Kansas City Chiefs play up, Rasheed Rice, what's going on with you? Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. It's a lot going on. We not sure how we made this possible, Bruh. but you just had a car accident recently. That's I was involved was. in. That's what it was, a car accident. It wasn't a race. Oh, uh, you wasn't, we, we don't want to just throw those words out like you were recklessly driving and racing how the other tabloids had it. And I think we read somewhere where you were like yelling out the window for vanity, but we ain't gonna get into that. Anyway, could you tell us a little bit about what happened that night? I was coming home, you know, I had been at church all day. Not the cow. coming home and some cars was whizzing past me because I like to go under the speed limit and what happened was it was an accident it wasn't through no fault of my own but it was an accident you know I was driving my cars a couple of it was like a four car accident and then I was extremely tired and I thought that I was being followed so I, I, I went home and went to sleep and then when I woke up I heard that the Dallas police had issued an arrest warrant for me you know and they thought that I was racing or something to that nature now, you were driving, if I get this correct, your Lamborghini, if that's not, that is. Yeah, SUV. I was, but I was doing the speed limit, below the speed limit, I wasn't racing or speeding or anything like that. Because again, I was coming from services. I had like, I think my Bible on my lap. But um, I was playing, but I was on my way home because I was exhausted. And so, the accusations that they have against you are false. Definitely false. You know, the Dallas Police Department is capping. Bruh. They don't know what's going on. It was They just mad that it was a collision. No accidents happened. I'm not the first NFL player to get into a car accident. And I think basically, you know, they're just mad because, you know, we're a lot of young black men in the NFL and we're rich. And NFL's always been under attack. And I'm just the latest player that's under attack now. Well, I guess you could say, we glad you survived and like, you're not going through nothing. Glad nobody, I'm glad nobody was really seriously hurt. I'm definitely thankful for that. And yeah, we definitely thankful for that. <clears throat> so how fast would you say you were driving? I said, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. I maybe was going maybe 30, 35 miles an hour. 30, 35. Yeah. Last I looked, yeah, something. And did you see the pictures of the car? Have you seen it since? I, I haven't seen, but I know definitely I wasn't speeding because there was a man running next to me. He was out running beside the car, and he was keeping right up with me. And he, I think he wanted the autograph, but I definitely wasn't speeding. No, we hope so. Not in a Lamborghini SVJ. That's just too much. But I just want to get my side of the story out because I definitely will be um, fighting these charges and have been looking for my day in court. Well, thank you for giving us the exclusive. And so this was not a race. Definitely not a race. I don't race. I don't do none of that. I don't place wages. I don't I don't bet on anything. I just, you know, I play football because it's something I love. I support my family. I go to services and, you know, I, I believe in God. Bruh. Well, thank you for coming out, clearing up your name with us. And th thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Rasheed Rice, thank you.